guys, Long Haul Larry, and we're up here at the UP. Uh, renovating this here house up here in the UP. <coughs> we're going to use it as a cabin. And I ended up uh, starting my tiling. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and um, I have myself the roof or the ceiling is tiled. This is going to be the face of it right here. Uh, with the silicone along there and everything and then get your grout lines and stuff. But I put this all in yesterday because I wanted to let that sit for a whole full day and get that all up in there and I just kind of used this makeshift thing to set this all up to hold pressure on it to keep it into place and everything. And I guess I'll be pulling it out of there and I'm going to start doing the rest of the tile. <coughs> so let's see what it looks like. Alright, maybe I'm better. I had a little coffee and fit there. Start pulling all this apart. Trying out the damage. Tracy's walls. She has, she has painted this room. Here we go. I thought I had it all whipped off, but there was some under that board, I guess. There's a ceiling done. Keep wiping that down, try to get that mortar off of there. Seems to be in a butt. Especially that spot. Looks good though. I like it. I usually don't uh, actually use spacers. Supposed to be quarter inch. That one's not quite. That one's good. Pretty close. That one's just a little bit bigger. It was kind of hard for me to use spacers and uh, get the boards up there at the same time. I tried to, and they kept moving around. I just kind of had to press it up in there and get it the best I can, and, and do it that way. I just cut a little piece on here and I actually used construction adhesive to stick these on. Just kind of covered up the end of it and these here when they come out I gotta trim this some more right here. I gotta trim this more even. But when the tiles come out here um, I'm actually gonna put a 45, and 45 degree bevel on the end of it so they're right even with the drywall here but then there's gonna be a 45 bevel on it same thing over here on this wall I'm having an issue getting going this morning I think what I'm gonna do is I'll probably do that main wall first do this wall second and uh, tackle this one third because I'm gonna have to mix this, this mortar up in batches and if I pre-cut the tile, it's going to kind of suck. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> maybe could have planned a little better. Yeah, I'll show you. If I put my tape measure, each one of these tiles is a foot. They're a quarter inch shy of a, of a foot. I'm going to be laying a tile, oh, is that horizontal? And they're one foot, so there'll be one, two, three, four, five. And then there's going to be a 
half inch piece. A half inch piece up there. And I guess poor planning on my bit. I guess I could have dropped the ceiling down a half inch. I, I didn't even check it, guys. Um, I don't know. It is what it is. It's too late now. But it's going to be five full pieces. And then there's going to be a little half inch piece. And I'm actually going to stick that half inch piece up at the ceiling. Um, I'm going to stick that up there. <coughs> and um, put that up at the top. I think I don't want to put it down at the bottom because that's where all your water is and that's providing another seam you know for water to get behind and everything you put it up at the top it's not really going to be um, getting a lot of water up there so, so that's why I'm doing that all right guys uh, my mind isn't quite right but I got it all figured out <coughs> um, I had to sit here and think about it for a bit uh, and up did screwing boards into it um, the main reason why is you know every, this house a lot of things are not square and straight and stuff I'm having to build around things like this uh, point in case this this uh, <laughs> been a uh, cabinet over here because well it's seen how that's so crooked there but I did the best I can with the walls kind of misshapened it to make it work but I have it, um, I'll figure it out. It took me a little bit. <laughs> but I got my 2 by 6s screwed in. And those couple screws that are holding it, there's five, six screws in the, that go through the board. I'll just put some silicone sealant in the holes to make sure that it's good waterproof when I get done with these. But I'm going to, uh, I got a nice level base to start these off of. And it actually slopes just a little bit, the tub does. So it's a bigger measurement over here. It wouldn't have worked out. I could have cheated a little bit, but it just wouldn't have worked out. So what I have is I have it all marked out on the wall, the rows. There'll be one, two, three, four. There's going to be four full rows and then a short row up there. There's, it's going to be five in, about five inches wide going around the top. And then that gives me a seven-inch piece on the bottom that I because I it's it's probably almost half an inch to three quarters of an inch difference along that so that'll give me a little bit of a uh, play with that to make that angle cut and everything to add that up and um, so that gives me a little extra um, so what I've got going on now is I have laid all the tile out and all the tiles they have a pattern on them and when you have pattern tile like this it's kind of nice to lay them out and try to get a design a flow working with the tile and that's what i've kind of done here is kind of has like a wood grainy kind of granite texture to it looking um i kind of have it somewhat matched up the best i can to try to get it to flow from row to row so it kind of looks like it's supposed to be and I have them all marked. They're all marked and numbered. So all the short pieces are over here and stuff that I have to cut. And they all have numbers on them and which way they point. And it's written on pencil and it basically just washes off. So I'm going to cut all the tile and have it all laid out in order for this. And then I'm going to cut all the tile for this one, have it all laid out. And then I will start installing tile. Um, but I'll start, um, let's start, let's cut a tile. One. So this is a tile sum and, um, pretty nice one. Got it from Home Depot. Um, went after a couple different ones and, um, this was a bigger one that I got. Um, I ended up doing my boss's water wall. I ended up having to buy one. Yeah, actually he bought it and it's just like, there you go. <laughs> but it's pretty nice. Um, it's all water cooled and everything. You just... There is a table that comes with it. I forgot it at home. But um, it pumps water from in the bottom. That's like a water tank there. And then um, you, it pumps water up in there and circulates and sprays water onto the saw to keep it cooler. And then um, it's got a plunge deal. And it also will tilt. 
so it also tilts too. And so on the end when I'm doing those 45 cuts, so I'll just take this and then see that that's the 45 spot that it runs through. So you can do a 40, you can do whatever degree you want to. But um, we're gonna do a long cut. It does have a laser light. There's little AA batteries in here, but I forgot them. <laughs> and I must have left the switch on because the batteries are dead. So it would have been nice to have it on this one, but it's okay. So it will cut this 24 inch long tile. And basically all you're gonna do, and this, you can see I've written on these with a pencil and stuff. You're gonna see these lines actually just disappear with the water. So the first thing we do is just turn it on. Wait for the water to start flowing, as you can see. Gives you a nice beautiful cut and you can see our pencils already so when I get it all up there all I gotta do is wash it off the rig and it'll come right off so right there is our number 15 this will be actually the last tile that's up there and I'm going to start stacking these in the in the on the wall in the order that they'll be put up on the wall and so there'll be a big stack so I'm just gonna keep on cutting and get them all ready all right we got our mortar mixed up Basically, <clears throat> you want it to be like peanut butter, and um, you mix it all up with the water, get it to that consistency, and then you um, you let it sit for about five, ten minutes, and then hit it again. There we go. Oh. And I've actually decided that I'm going to uh, just do this wall first because I can't get the print off of the things to try to match them and blah, blah, blah. So I'm just going to do this wall. Then I'll, I started to cut those and measure them and I just went, you know, I'm going to wait. But bigger tile like this, you usually want to have like a half inch uh, trowel. Basically a half inch of mortar on it. These are 24 inch tile, 12 by 24. It's a special mortar that's made for a bigger tile like this. I don't like to do the half inch stuff. Um, I don't really see the reason why of it. Um, what I do is I put a quarter inch on the wall and then I also put a quarter inch on the tile. But all we're gonna do is just start smearing it on here. All right, that's pretty good. Now we just take our trowel. This gives 
is this uh, even spreads it out even Start grabbing our tile. I got these so many spacers down here. All right, so my tile is number one. Almost dropped it. All right. So number one, it's gonna go that way. Now they say to tap them with hammers. I don't. I don't know. I just have a thing with that. Hitting a porcelain tile with a hammer. You know what I mean? Just have a thing. Two. There you guys go. There's a wall complete. Tile is up there. Well, to all of it except for the bottom row piece. And I'll put that on later tonight. But uh, it's a good idea when you get done to go back over and with a wet rag. Stop knocking all your little things out. To go over and clean off any grout you have on your tile much easier to clean it now once it gets hard it's like chiseling the stuff off
the side by side, the side everything doesn't really matter. Sorry about that. Doesn't really matter anymore. The tiles are set where they are. It's mostly just the up and down ones right now that are keeping it from falling and loose, you know, shortening up those gaps. There we go. Looks pretty dang good. So there we go, because you can see on this board here, I didn't get, I didn't get it wiped, and it's gonna be some scrubbing to get this off. This was put on yesterday, so this stuff is dry. So basically, I'm chiseling it off with my fingernail there. I was going to put a a uh, built-in deal into the wall. Um, Tracy bought all this stuff and brought it up here, <clears throat> and she picked it all up and brought it up here with her. Is this easier and a lot cheaper? And um, I told her to get some uh, inlaid shelf units. She never had seen those before. She didn't know what I was talking about. And um, I pretty much had it set up and had the wall board up and everything. And she showed up and she brought one of those little suction cup things, <laughs> a little shelf to stick. I'm like, no, I wanted to build it into the shower. I wanted to put, you know, like some corner. They're made out of porcelain and you put them around and then you cut the tile around it and you get them in this somewhat same color to match, you know. And then they actually got screws that go into the two by fours that hold it up. And then you cut the towel around them, lays in there and you grow it around it and everything, seal it up. And you could put like some corner shelves on them or put some shelves, whatever you want, wherever you want. And she didn't just never heard of that before. She didn't know what they were. So she um, got the wrong thing. And I kind of looked online around here. I couldn't figure find anything around here. And then she was like, well, can't you build like an in-wall shelf or something, you know, put it back into the wall? I was like, I'm not tearing this all apart, <laughs> you know? And I'm like, put the shampoo bottle down on the bottom of the bathtub or you want to get some little suction things or something, put it up, you know, some shelves or whatever. But yeah, it, it is what it is. It's an up north place, right? Getting kind of fancy for an up north place though. But there you go, that wall is done. So now I can start getting my measurements off this wall, cut all these tiles, and start on this wall here. And then move on over here, gotta cut around for holes and all that stuff. Get this all on and then we'll have some other projects while this all dries. Well there you guys go, uh, tile is all up. I just, I got one layer to do on the bottom. But I need to let this all sit and everything. And uh, I'll tackle that just simple one layer do that in the morning I just got to cut around the one pipe so it ain't too bad yeah I just got to run a couple tiles down the side of the tub nothing easy peasy as you can see she's all taken care of she's all done it's all put in got it all around up there got it around the faucet thing there we're all set so now I just let this sit and cure no well guys, we are putting the last couple pieces in. I'm trying to figure out which way I want this one to go.
go. You guys can't smell it. It really stinks in this house right now. Because I think I might have sacrificed one of my Dewalt drills. Mixing this stuff up. It's pretty. They actually make. <coughs> they actually make a mixer. Dewalt saw was smoking pretty bad on this last patch. She gave what she could. I think she gave it. It's still working. But man, there was some smoke coming out of that thing. Whoo! There's a lot of popping and noises coming out of there. Very last piece. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, I had a phone call today. Dealing with some issues. And deal with customer service. company with that water here. I think that water heater is a pretty good water heater. But just like every other company out there, customer support really sucks. It's gotten really bad over the years. really bad over the years it's um I had an issue with this thing and I tried firing it up <clears throat> oh I'm so achy and tired it's unbelievable but I tried firing this thing up and I got this hooked up the sink all hooked up with hot water and everything and last night I don't have the plugs in the wall or nothing and I tried hooking this thing up and I plugged it in and it kept firing up the <clears throat> the 
it would flame up. There's a little window that's behind here. It's back behind there, and you can see the blue flame in there. It'd run for two, like three seconds, shut off, and then it would um, it would sit there, and a little light would flash, and it would stop. It would, the water would just start to get warm, and then it would stop. And it would make all these popping and clicking, and fans would run, and blah, 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 and all this stuff. And there's a, a digital controller right here. And, um, and Tracy had fights. I was going to mount it up over here. She didn't like it over there. Like she wants to put flowers there or something. <laughs> but uh, we came up with this. So it's on here. It's got a like a 10-foot cord. So when you pull this cover off, this screen is going to stay on here. This was kind of on here. And I just kind of repurposed it. Put new screen in there and I painted the screen a white so it wasn't black but the cover will be on there but that way it gets air to it keeps it kind of cooler and then there's gonna be a cabinet up there for towels and stuff but we came up with putting it on there so then if you got to get in here or something like this you just pull this off and you can just set this aside to get in there and do your service stuff but it kept coming up on that screen with code 11 and I looked up online, and I looked up on everything, and Code 11 kept saying that gas valve is blocked. And I'm like, there's no way. I had a gas guy check this out. The flow is great to the house. Everything is plumb three quarters. And we, um, I'm like, there's no way there's a gas problem. I tried calling a customer service, and it just kept saying, user busy, user busy. It just kept hanging up on me saying, user busy. Well, I waited till today and I called them up and I finally got somebody and I talked to them all about it and they're like, did you install it or somebody else? And I'm like, I installed the, the water heater, you know, everything is all in there. And they're like, okay, we're going to send you an email and it's going to be a request for pictures and the pictures of the items we need to see. And then take those pictures, reply back to us, and then give us about half an hour and we'll review the pictures and look at your installation and just tell you if anything's wrong. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's that's great. You know, for something like this, and you know, that's it, customer service, that's great. And I called back up and after I sent the pictures and everything, I called back up and talked to the lady and she was having a fit looking at the stuff she's like you got the wrong vent and by vent they talk about this now i call this a pipe you know an exhaust pipe they call it a vent and i'm like are we talking about the same thing they would not answer me <laughs> you know they use a certain terminology and they will not say okay yeah that's what you're looking at that's what i'm talking but it's called we call it a vent they wouldn't say this uh, over and over again i could ask them and they're trying to tell me it's too small. And I'm like, you need five inch. I'm like, lady, that is five inch. And I took a picture of the tag and sent the tour. It's three inch inner, five inch, five inch outer. It's exactly the pipe. The problem is, is that they say it should have a different name brand pipe. Well, Menards doesn't carry that. This is what they carry. This is what they recommended for it. And I try to explain, I can't get the name brand pipe it's the same stuff and they're like you have to have three inch inner five inch outer has to have an inch gap all the way around and it's got to be stainless i'm like that's what this is it's the exact same stuff you know and we kept arguing about it and they're like well the picture looks like it's smaller i'm like it's five inch well then that ended then we came down then they're saying your terminus is wrong <laughs> i'll show you so you can see how i you can see how I routed it out, and then I ran a pipe up, and I put a vent cap on top. And it's just a plain Jane vent cap. I couldn't find, you know, whatever. That's what I could get up here. And, you know, <coughs> and they kept saying, <coughs> your terminus is wrong. <coughs> and I kept saying, asking them, I mean, do you mean the cap on top of the pipe, the vent cap? They just kept saying terminus. I'm like... Are we talking the same word? The terminus is the vent cap. They would not answer me. They would not say, yes, that is that is what we're saying, but we use this terminal. They wouldn't do it. And we sat there and, and talking and talking. And finally, the lady's like, 
I'm going to escalate this and send you to somebody else. I'm like, whatever. And she sent me somebody else. And this lady came out. And, oh, she was nasty. She was just yelling and yelling at me, telling me that this outside pipe and all this is wrong and all this. And just, you know, going on and on. And you got a class one uh, terminus, but you need a class three. But, so I'm, I'm just asking and asking, you know, is it the cap that's wrong? Your terminus, that piece on top of the vent pipe, is it the wrong thing? Is that what you're saying? This whole setup is wrong. It needs to go straight up or, or go straight out. And I'll show you in your user manual if you just read your manual and stuff. <laughs> so, they show me this and they're like, you need a horizontal end cap like that. And I'm like, lady, where is it showing this? Where is it the event? Where is the end cap? And she goes, it's right there in the picture. I said, where's the piece? That, that's just the pipe coming out. There's nothing on the end. Yeah, there's a horizontal end cap. Where is that? Oh, oh. Well, it's not listed in there. <laughs> Basically, right here is my setup. That's what I have right there. But they're saying this. Well, I think what it is, is it turned out to be, is the vent, the cap on top of the vent pipe. It's wrong. And it needs that outer, there's an inner pipe and an outer part, and it needs to suck in air through that pipe, which I did not know that. I thought it was just for cooling. <clears throat> and I think that cap is restricting it. So I looked at that picture and I thought, I'm just gonna try this. And I just pulled off that elbow and just have a straight pipe going out. Looks just like the picture. Then I came back in here and went, is it gonna work? It ignites. Warm. And there it goes hot. And there we go. We got really good hot water. And she works perfect. Every time I fire it up, it works. So I believe I just have the wrong vent cap on it. That's the problem. But until I can get it, I just took the elbow off and I'm going to get a different vent cap. I have the same set up at my shop at home and uh, for my propane heater it's the same exact piping and you gotta have a special end on it it's like a T thing and it's got some screen things on the end I think that's what I need up on top so I'm gonna I'm gonna wait until I get that but it works for now and I'll try that on top because I like my setup how it goes out and up I mean we get a lot of snow in here and stuff and I think this way the water is just gonna pour in you're supposed to have a half inch rubber silicone line on here. You hang it down here, you do a loop back up, hang it back down and then drill a hole, put it through the floor. It's a condensation trip. So if water comes in, it goes through that and goes out instead of going into the heater. So it's working for now, but they were just so rude. Finally, I just, I'm like, I just had to get out the phone. I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm like, can you send me this stuff? I did. I don't have an email. Well, I sent it. <laughs> and I was just like, okay, thanks. And I just hung up. <laughs> but, and I, and I took that out, off up there, came in, and it works. So, I'm glad I don't have to talk to their customer service again. They're poor. <sighs> but, look at that. There we go. She's all laid in, all done. So now I just got to wait for that, the bottom road to dry. It's, uh, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow morning. I'm not pushing anything. It's everything's real slow right now. Tomorrow morning, uh, I'll come in here and uh, grout it, and uh, grout everything, and clean it all up, and then it'll be getting, um, you know, silicone all the way around the bottom, up against the tub, and then I'm gonna put a silicone bead on the wall here too. That's what'll end this from this 45 I cut. It'll be a bead of silicone that runs down this and um, kind of seals off so you don't see behind there and stuff. And then um, <clears throat> get that done and this will be all complete. I had such a hard time breathing. I can't do much. I get so tired. It's not even funny. But um, I'm going to let you guys go. See ya.